Hello, my dear super champions. How are you all doing? All good. How are you, Josh? How is your preparation? All good. It should be good. So basically, today what we are going to do? We are going to deal with a famous problem, major problem in chemistry that is balancing. Okay. So today I will take only two or three minutes of yours to cop up with this problem. Are you all ready? Yes. So this is your reaction. Suppose we have. Generally, in the chemistry, we have hit and trial method, which takes a lot of time, right? And sometimes we are not up to the mark, right? In that case, the question there is a chance, there is a scope that it will be wrong, right? So, in order to avoid that situation, what we can do? We can apply A B C D method. Now, what is this method? Suppose we have one reaction. This is your reaction. Can you tell me what reaction is this and where are we using this reaction? It's a one of the most famous reaction. Do let me know in the comments. Now, what is this ABCD method? I'm not using the hit and trial method. Using ABCD, I will be using coefficient A, B, C and D. So, in order to follow the law of conservation of mass, what is going to happen? The amount of Fe I'm using here should be equal to the amount of Fe I'm, I'm getting in the product side. Yes. So, of course, the coefficient of Fe for Fe, for Al and for oxygen, right? O. That should be same. So, here I can see A in front of Fe. So, I can write 2A. Now, where can I see Fe, Fe, Fe? That is on the product side and it's only equal to D. That is equal to 1. So, I can multiply it by the coefficient. It will be equal to D. Right? Are you getting this? Now, I am having aluminium. So, for aluminium, I am having the coefficient B that is equal to 2C. Great. Now, talking about oxygen, it will be equal to I can see oxygen 3A equal to 3C. So, these are the equations. Now, I just have to solve these equations to get the correct answer. Right. So, how can I do this? You have to do one thing. Any of the coefficient you can consider equal to 1. So, I am considering C is equal to 1. So, automatically, eventually, A is also equal to 1. Yes or no? Because I can write it like this. Simple. So, if I got the value of A and C, so I will be keeping C only. I will be applying C, the value of C here, and it will be giving me the value of B that is equal to 2. Simple. And now, if I have got the value of A, and in this reaction, I can put that value, so that I will be getting the value of D. How simple is this? Yes. Now, what I have to do? I just have to place the values. So, A is equal to 1. What is B? B is equal to 2. So, I can apply 2 here. And the C is equal to 1. Also, D is equal to 2. So, in the balance form, I can write this equation again like this. Fe2O3 plus 2Al gives you Al2O3 plus 2Fe. Do let me know if it's going to help you out. Thank you. Stay connected. 